You have no idea how awkward my setup is right now. I can't do a screen recording because my Windows desktop is about four years old and it's ridiculous. Now on to the tutorial to burn, to download a Xbox game and to burn it. Especially the XGD3 games, which are the new ones. You have to make a free account at xbox360iso.com. Link in the description. Then when you make one, go on to the Xbox 360 download section. And then there's going to be links and stuff. I'll show you what you have to do with those links. <sighs> okay. I need to download. Let's see. Okay, here we go. Saints Row the Third. Bear with me here, because this computer is literally like a relic. It's extremely slow. I just use my MacBook instead. So all this info, you need to have a modded Xbox with LT2. LT 2.0, which is light touch. So, some screenshots, blah, blah, blah. So, okay. Here is the links to download it. You can do it however you want, one by one. I'd rather not. I downloaded this, which is called J Downloader. And right when you copy it, it's going to have it up. Then you just press play, just basically to start downloading it, and it'll do the captures or whatever all for you. If you have a premium account, you add it right here, you know, mega upload, whatever. You go into it, buy the premium, and it'll download much, much faster. Okay, so when it's done, let me just minimize this it will be files like this so it's going to be all the files downloaded this is Gears of War 3 and then there's going to be a folder and there's going to be the disk image which is the game and the image file which is a dot DVD and then what you do with that is download the latest version of image burn because you can't do it with other um, image burns because it the files are bigger now so you can't really do it and I'm probably talking really loud because the camera's like right in my face shoo all this is starting up I recommend to use vervatim discs because they're the best and you're paying about a dollar a disc and you're saving you know sixty four dollars and gas to GameStop which I hope you don't go to so once this starts up, you go to write image, file to the disk. Then you go browse for a file. And you do not, do not choose the big file. You choose the small one. And the write speed, change it to 2.4x. And take off the test mode and verify because... You know, image burn really does not do that. It, it's just wasting your time. And if you do it at 2.4x, you'll make sure that you're not burning too slow or too fast. It's the perfect speed. It takes about 45 minutes to burn 8 gigs, so I'm pretty sure you can wait 45 minutes. Then you just hit this button right here, and then it'll, you know, start... It'll ask you the that the file is too big for the DVD, so you, you don't choose stop you choose the truncate option which is the second one and you just hit OK I'm not gonna do it because I'm not gonna burn this game again but that's exactly what you do you know it's very very simple and don't download games from torrents because they're terrible these games are safe to just go right off the bat because people have you know they have rep and stuff and you know they're legit if you want to do it though, you download abgx360 dot agu, wait what is it, gui? Okay, so if you just want to check if the game's good, you go to autofix, which is this tab right here. You go to browse. Yeah. 
you go to wherever you have the game downloaded. Then it's the disc image. I honestly don't think it, XGD3 games have been updated yet in the ABGX360 server, so I'm just going to check. And you just go to launch. Okay, it's checking for updates. Yeah, see, it's not up yet. Battlefield 3 and more games like that are. But that's how you can stealth patch them, which means you won't be caught online. But if you, if you, even if you don't stealth patch them yourself, the Xbox won't let you play them if they're not properly burnt. So that is how you download and burn an Xbox game.